Hey guys, it's Matt Noakes here. I'm making this video for The Serious Hitter. Now, I'd like to tell you a little bit about some of the research that I've been doing over the last 20 years. It's something that I feel like you need to know if you would like to change the course of your career. Now, I don't know what you're going through. You could be going through something really tough. And I do work with players often that are struggling. I mean, to the point, and I remember, I mean, it's a point where you want to come to a place like this and you want to quit and go home. Um, you may be having a slow start. Um, you may have had a, a tough season and now you're going to go play summer ball or, or whatever's going on right now. I'd like to introduce you to the one pro hitting solution. Five shifts will transform you from prospect to pro. These five shifts advance the way we compete in games. In soft toss, our automatic mind deals with all the variables. We learn to compete in the games by intentionally developing three basic abilities. Number one, brutally efficient mechanics, using all the natural hitting movements. Number two, a laser-focused mindset by carefully following the Major League plan. And number three, the natural timing through rehearsed intentional action, learning to effectively cope with all the variables you've got to deal with when you're timing the pitch. These ingredients are part of the five shifts that will transform you from prospect to pro in eight weeks. When I got into pro ball, I struggled for the first couple of years, and I remember looking up to some of the older players who were, who were performing well, and I just remember what they were saying, and I was just thinking, I, everything I try that they're doing, it doesn't work. Till Hall of Famer Frank Robinson approached me. He actually invited me for breakfast with Tom McCraw, his hitting coach, and I was scared to death. And then, you know, he gave me the major league plan, and over that week, he solidified it for me. And I went to spring training the next week, and I had a great year. I ended up hitting 322, and I was put on the major league roster that that season and was in the big leagues the next year. So things can happen quickly once you have perspective and once you have some awareness, it helps you become aware of other things, okay? So, you, you know, I would probably say that because I played the big leagues, I was probably a little bit more aware than the next guy. But that doesn't mean I just showed up aware. I mean, you have to have people that come into your life. And that's some good news because I'd like to share with you some of the research that I've been doing. What I'm about to share with you in this video is for those who are truly driven to be a great hitter. This is for you if you believe in yourself and you'll do whatever it takes to reach that goal. But if you're not willing to do what it takes, then this is not for you. It's for hitters and coaches who want to catch up and reboot as if you were someone who grew up hanging out your whole life in a big league clubhouse. And these five shifts are the shifts that the better players make. Okay? Some players grow up as if they were in a major league clubhouse. They didn't even hear about things that would mess them up or unnatural movement, movements. It's because the best hitters who've been shown the truth and seen it demonstrated up close, and they develop a filter and dismiss anything that'll be a distraction from coaches saying, try this or try that, or from the 170 million hits you get when you search hitting. It is possible to be intentional about what you're doing. You don't have to be random about what you're doing. Now, most of the time when we struggle, what do we do? We, we run down to the batting cage, we just start banging on the ball, and why do we do that? Because it works sometimes, because every time we, we adjust our, our mechanics, our technique, it affects our timing. But we're in the wrong toolbox. The mechanical toolbox, you've got to reserve that for efficiency. All we want to do with our technique is make ourselves efficient. We want to head towards, towards efficiency. We don't want to do things that make ourselves quicker, slower, more efficient, less efficient, um, you know, longer, shorter. We, we want to be just efficient and then work on the timing variable, variable specifically, and there's a timing, there is a toolbox for just your timing. So the first shift is to sort out your unique problems so you can begin trusting the process of eight weeks from prospect to pro. The first shift is we got to fix whatever's going on in your, in your approach right now. I mean, everybody's got something going on and everybody's a unique hitter. So we got to fix that first because you're not going to trust a, a complete reset unless we fix what's going on right now. When a hitter is struggling, it's never just one issue. It's always a combination of things going wrong. And it only gets worse when the hitter starts making random mechanical adjustments before knowing what the real issues are. Fortunately, even though the issues are complex, with a lot of things that could go wrong, the solution is always a simple fix. You know, every player has their own issues. Every player is unique and there's never just one issue that, that a player is struggling with. But before a player can have context, before they can have perspective, before they can kind of have a reset and start learning, you have to figure out what's going on. 
And we're basically pattern recognition machines. And, and so you need someone who's qualified to come in and evaluate and figure out what's going on because there's, a, there's always a lot of things going on or several things going on, but there's always a simple solution. Once you get your immediate issue solved, you're in a better place to trust the process. Then we give you a 30,000 foot view so you have the perspective and context to take the next step. So in the process, while you're learning, we try all sorts of things. But our experience, probably like the experience you're having now, it's a random, it's just a, it's a mess most of the time because we go down the batting cage, we keep changing things. And really what we're doing is we're changing our timing. And when we change our timing, it just becomes random and maybe we'll get hot for maybe a day or so, but that's it. Because, and then, and then we've just kind of changed all the rules over again and then we got to start over. The second shift is to start the process of teaching you the 12 touchstones. So to understand the touchstones, you need to know that there are 12 serious problem areas. And these problem areas are make or break when it comes to your success. The 12 touchstones are the techniques that solve the 12 problem areas. So over the years, I've come to, I've come to see, from the best I can see, there's 12 basic rules. Now, there could be more, there could be less. But I've, I've narrowed it down to 12 rules. Some people may call them absolutes, but I like to call them the touchstones. And I call them the touchstones because they're things that you remember, they're things that you're able to rehearse, they're action steps, and they all ha have an element of timing interwoven through them. So the first thing we gotta do, if you're interested in this, you could be a major league player who's having a slow start, a minor league player that's just you know trying to get to that next level knocking on the door, and may, you, know, you gotta start hitting your pitch. You could be a minor league player and a co or college player who's, who's realizing that your talent will only take you so far and then the pitching just is just going to overwhelm you. And, and pitching, good pitching is going to get out good hitting. So you have to get to a point where you understand what you're doing. Now people understand what they're doing on various levels. What I want to do is accelerate this whole process and do a complete reset for you. And you can do this in a very short amount of time if you do this strategically. Every big hitter keeps these 12 serious problems in check using the 12 touchstone techniques. Now big league hitters may all have their own names for these special rehearsals and little moves, but even though the hitters may come to these problems differently, they all end up in the same place using professional technique that gives them brutally efficient mechanics so they don't miss their pitch. Another way of looking at the 12 touchstones is to see them as the most efficient way your body moves. The Bernstein principle says the body organizes itself in the most efficient way possible to get the job done. So continually rehearsing the touchstones help you avoid 99 out of 100 problems before they come up. Our, our parents put us into this game when we were younger. It's almost like a dirty trick. It's like the, the hardest skill set to master. And uh, you know the ground is always shifting under us. It's so hard to compete with. And it ends up that you know, I mean, you're shoved into competition before you know what you're doing. And then you're 17, 18 years old, and you've been, if you started when you were five, that means 12 or 13 years have gone by. If that was martial arts, what, what, what would be your belt? The third shift is the secret weapon, but it's in two parts. The first part is the ride and stride timing, and the second part are the rehearsals. So first, let's look at the ride and stride timing, where the timing systems are managed. You owe it to yourself as a serious hitter to master all three strides. The high leg kick, the low leg kick, and the no stride. When you master the technique of all three strides, you're able to find the most efficient mode of striding that works for you. I personally found I needed all three stride techniques for different reasons and rotated them accordingly. You learn how all three professional stride styles work and how to rehearse them until they're efficient and effective for you. you no, know, I've, I've worked with players often and when they're doing a reset, I'll be flipping them the ball underhand and I'll usually give them a day, but you know, if, especially if they're an older player. If they're a younger player, you know, in, in high school, college, or a young professional player, I just get, get right away and I say, okay, what's going on? Why is it taking you five balls to hit a line drive? They go, well, I'm just getting ready. Well, I go, you, you don't get it. You have to figure out how, how, how to get ready in your mind so that when you're waiting in line, the first ball that you hit off the tee, if I'm just placing balls on the tee, you could smoke the first ball. If I'm flipping you soft toss, I want to jump up in my seat and, and just because it sounded different. 
so that you can be ready because you know how to prepare yourself so that you can be ready when you go into live batting practice and you can hit the first pitch so that you're prepared and confident that when you get in the game, that when you get your pitch, you won't miss it. So somebody asked me one time, well, what's a major league hitter? A major league hitter is when, when your manager knows, your coaches know, your teammates know, when everybody knows that when you get your pitch, you don't miss it. You become a reliable hitter. The second part of the secret weapon are the rehearsals. The rehearsals are why we can get from prospect to pro so quickly. So here's how the rehearsals work. So imagine your swing timeline as a line with 100 points along that line. The rehearsals give you that one point along that line you're looking for. You want your approach field to keep you in good position to hit the ball. You want your timing field to cope with all the timing variables. Rehearsals develop the field for each skill set. The fourth shift is the major league plan. You learn how to do whatever it takes to be a hitter who never misses their pitch. You master the pregame and learn what it really means to get yourself ready. Study the pitchers when they're warming up. You master getting ready in the on-deck circle, getting into the box, and learn the highest level insights for hitting the inside pitch. You gotta learn the plan. You gotta learn the pregame, how to prepare for the game, how to get ready. You, gotta, you have to learn what to do on deck to prepare for an inside pitch. You have good mechanics on an inside pitch. You can wait longer, you can let the ball travel a little deeper, but you're still hitting the ball out front and you have better timing. The fifth shift is to invest in expert mentoring.